guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So when we come down to the southwest each winter, I usually like to add something to our boondocking system, kind of an investment. And over the years, it's built up to be quite of a system. Uh, last uh, fall, I bought a macerator pump and then a sewer tote. So now I have a way to get rid of our waste. I don't have to move the RV to the dump station. I can put the sewer tote in my truck and pump the waste into that, that sewer tote just drive the truck to the waste station and dispose of our waste. Um, I got the Camco Rhino, Rhino Tote and it came with some attachments and this is one of the things it came with. Now this is to plug into your, your RV and then this thing will, will plug onto the, the sewer tote so you can empty it into the sewer tote. Of course I have a macerator so it plugs into the macerator but uh, so a number of years ago, I changed out my, my system and put in a Wastemaster system that's always connected. And it uses cam locks like this that plugs in. So I have a hose that plugs in through cam locks and sits in a storage box. So I have quite a bit of a, um, space. I have to pull this out from where I'm hooked up. I almost have to have it fully uh, uh, extended like that. And it's only a couple feet here, maybe two and a half or three feet. So I've actually, just because of the pressure on it, it's not a very uh, great hose, I've actually had a little slice here I fixed with some shoe glue. But anyway, this time down I was going to change this out with a, a much better one. Because uh, I had to actually buy an adapter for it right here. This adapter would go on that. That would plug into my cam lock system and then this into the macerator. So. The guys who make uh, Wastemaster, they also have their own hose specifically designed for sewer totes. So on this end already, there is the cam lock fitting and then the regular bayonet fitting to go on the, the tank. So it looks pretty small, but it's great for storage. But it actually comes out like that, and it's over four feet long, which is going to be perfect for me. So I'll be able to put it into my storage box, and then it can fit onto the, the sewer tote at that end which is great but the another problem that that makes is this is a, a bayonet fitting like that and um, the the um, macerator pumps also a, a bayonet fitting a female bayonet fitting like that so I had to get a double male I think it was that Ford had this very hard to find actually they don't really make this too much but Anyway, I picked that up on Amazon. Both these I got, I bought myself on Amazon. They're not review samples or anything. So that goes on there, and then I can plug that in, and that can go to my Wastemaster pump. So maybe I'll give you a little demo of it in action and show you what's going on. So here we go. This would, is the hookup if I'm just going to be towing the tote, which I rarely do. I didn't really buy it to tow it away. I bought it more to use the the old macerator pump there but you can see why I needed that this is a, a cam lock setup much better than a bayonet much more durable and uh, less likely likely to leak that's what they use for you know fuel stuff like that so I just fit take out the my normal hose and then put that in there comes out the storage box and then I have lots of length to deal with here one drawback of this particular tote is it's quite tall. I have 30, 36 gallons, so I find here I have to support the hose or put it really close. And then uh, as it comes out, the pressure will push most, most of it out, but sometimes I have to kind of lift the hose to get the last little bit. Anyway, like I say, I don't use it much for that, but if you did, you might want to consider how tall your RV is. Some of the RVs now are quite tall, but mine's It'll sit fairly low to the ground, especially with the box there. Anyway, that is the tow method. Let me set up the macerator and give you a demo. And here's the setup with the macerator pump. So I showed all this before in a video last spring I'll link to. I went through in detail all my water and waste uh, methods. But I just wanted to show off this new hose, especially if somebody has this system and is uh, looking at a macerator or a sewer tote and wants to know how to how to hook them up. Usually I'll stick a bucket under there because sometimes I'll get a few drips there. 
and then I just stick this lid under there in case I get a few drips there that I can deal with it put it back in the tote take it and wash it out at the dump station anyway there we go filling her up Till next time Ray from Love Your RV Cheers everyone!